This is Star Talk. This one is from, oh, I love it, James Brown. <laughs> That's all. I just had. Let me hear that again. So that was, a, as, as Eddie Murphy said, that's a whole James Brown lyric that's right, there. right there. Right uh-huh. <laughs> there. So this is from James Brown. To quote Dr. Tyson, he's quoting you, heavy elements are forged in the cubicles of dying stars. Uh, crucibles. Oh, crucibles of dying stars. Wait, did you misread that or I, did he miswrite it? I misread that. So what do we have you for? <laughs> Aren't you college educated? <laughs> Indeed I am. But I'm only here because I'm charming. Okay. Uh, in other words, uh, to get protons to stick together, they need high heat and pressures. So why wasn't there enough pressure to create anything heavier than hydrogen and helium in whatever started the Big Bang? Ooh, ooh, snap! Yeah, this guy uh, has done some thinking here. Uh, Ooh. I like it. Ooh. Okay, so, good good one. So at the beginning of the universe, he Mm -hmm. knows that the conditions were just right to not only forge matter out of energy, Mm -hmm. this is where you get your protons that are the nuclei of hydrogen. Hydrogen is the simplest element. Oh, That's right. the one that was up in the corner of the periodic table. Exactly. The whole periodic table begins there. Yeah, right there. Right there. Yeah. One proton. The Hel- first step. The first step. And uh, helium has two protons, and right. lithium has three protons, and, 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 and this goes on and on and on. Carbon has six protons. Everybody's got a unique number of protons. And that's the identity of the element. So here we start with hydrogen. We take protons, slam them together, we make helium. Mm-hmm. Okay. So why don't we keep making other elements in the early universe? We do a little bit of lithium is made, mm. trace amounts. And that's because the universe at that time was a little depressed. And so, <laughs> so <laughs> need a little lithium. They said, we need some, let's, let's make let's some of that. Let's make some lithium. Some of that. Right. <laughs> so watch what happens. While the universe under high temperatures could have been making heavier elements, it is also expanding, right. becoming less dense. Mm-hmm. And as your density drops, the likelihood of particles colliding goes right. down. Exactly. It's the difference between living in New York City and living in rural Kansas. Your chances of having an accident go way down when you're in rural Kansas. Well, uh, uh, the chances of walking into someone by That's accident. That's what I mean. Okay. Right. Colliding. A <laughs> Colli- collision accident. A collision of any kind right. in principle. But Thank yes. you. So, so, yes. And so while the universe is expanding... Matter is not only becoming less dense, it's also cooling. Mm. And so the speeds of these particles drop. Gotcha. And so, in fact, you can look at how much hydrogen and, and helium is in the universe, in parts of the universe that have not been altered severely, and go back and deduce what those conditions must have been. Mm-hmm. At the same time, you can go back and derive these from first principles, and those two, num- those two calculations match up. Gotcha. And so that's why we have very high confidence in what was going on in the early universe. Nice. Yeah. And whereas in a star, you make your, hyd- your hydrogen, you have your helium, right. and you just keep going up the chain, and you are hot, you are dense. This stuff doesn't get less dense down there. It gets even more right. dense. Right. You're good. Good to go. See? So, okay. Man, that's great. Yeah. I said it gets more dense. It, doesn't, it, it, just, it gets, just gets... It's, it's there contained, whereas right. the universe is expanding and cooling. Right. That's the difference. Great question. That is a great question. Yeah. Way to go, James Brown. James Brown. Give me another... <laughs> 